What's up YouTube? This is 2Raw4 TV. So before I get into this particular video, I want to give a shout out to the brother Aram for the donation to the channel via the uh, PayPal. And I saw your video request and uh, that'll be an interesting two-parter, those comparisons between those great uh, Hall of Fame players. And I'll probably do a video on both of those guys uh, this weekend. So much respect to you for showing love to Two Raw for TV. Um, I know that Aram is a fan of the golden era of the NBA and uh, I want to segue into some news I just read. Uh, the oldest living player in the history of the NBA passed away recently. He's the only player in the history of the NBA to reach 100 years of age. Stan Whitey Von Nita passed away in Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania at the age of 101. He reached his 100th birthday last year back on June 19th and um, he received a certificate verifying uh, from the National Basketball Retired Player Association of being the NBA's first centenarian. Von Nita, a six foot one swing man, broke into back in what was then called the NBL, the National Basketball League, with the long since defunct Tri Cities Blackhawks in 1947, and was a member of the NBL's all rookie team. After his second pro season, uh, Von Nita logged his one official NBA season. Because after 1949, the NBL and the BAA merged into the NBA in August of 1949 with the Tri-Cities uh, Blackhawks and the Baltimore, I think they were called the Baltimore Bullets. He averaged 5.3 points and 2.4 assists per game in 59 games before an eye injury in January 1950 ended his basketball career. Uh, Von Nita was quoted in a online obituary from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I could play either guard or forward. Sometimes I take my man down inside and hook up hook it over him. His hook shots were very popular back in those time period. On October 29, nineteen forty nine, Vanita scored fourteen points in the inaugural post merger NBA game, pitting Tri Cities versus the Denver I think they were called the Denver Nuggets back then. Not the same Denver Nuggets team today, but they were called the Denver Nuggets, I think, back then. It was another Denver Nuggets franchise. Von Nita's coach with the Tri-Cities uh, was, I believe, a young Red Auerbach. And um, after his NBA career ended, Von Nita coached three seasons at Elizabethtown College in Lancaster County. He later had a career in advertising sales and worked as a bartender. He and his first wife, the late Dorothy, raised six children. Von Nita reportedly continued to play basketball, semi-pro and recreationally, into his 60s. Von Nita's widow, Arlene, told Lancaster Online on Thursday, many social occasions in which people would ask, is that Whitey Von Nita? I saw him play years ago. He was great. So, just want to give my flowers to the oldest living player and the longest lived player in professional basketball history, or at least NBA history, Stan Whitey Von Nita, who passed away recently at the age of 101.